In this video, I want to talk about undoing a commit. So undoing a commit in Git is kind of tricky uh, because there's a reset and revert. So reset you would usually do if you made a commit locally, but you never actually pushed that to a remote. So that's what I'm going to do in this example. Uh, so I'm going to make a change and do a reset as that commit has never been done. But if you have pushed that commit already uh, to the remote, then you have to do a revert. And I will probably do an example of that in another video. So here I'm going to do git status. So everything's up to date. Everything is clear. So let's say I decide to add a file called mytest.txt. So I do git status again. It says that my branch origin release sandbox is up to date, but a file is untracked. So I'll do git add my test and git status. When it says that I added it, all I have to do is commit it. So I'm going to do git commit with a message added new file. So git commit m add a new file, git status, everything is clean. So I committed my file and everything's running fine. So let's say I want to reset it or undo that commit and I haven't pushed it to remote, it's just local. Then all I have to do is git reset head. And once I do that, I can do git status. And it goes in my test.txt goes back as untracked. And I can start working from there. Now I want to do an example where we make multiple commits. And when I mean multiple commits, I mean them locally. So I make a commit, make a couple changes, then do another commit, make a couple changes. Let's say I want to go back and to those two commits. How do I do that? But this can only be done locally, so as long as you have not pushed those changes. Let me go to git status, make sure everything is correct. Everything's up to date. So I'm gonna do git touch test seven. And I'm gonna add this. Now I'm gonna commit it. And that was my first change. Now I'm gonna make another change. So I already did my first commit. I'm gonna add it again and commit it. And get status just to make sure so it says your branch, what branch I am at, my branches have had of really sandbox by two commits. Yes, because we did two commits, so it wants us to push. But like we haven't pushed yet, let's say we made an error on those two commits. If I want to go back, like I said previously, get reset head, if I want to go back. But if I want to go back more than one commit, I can do this to the second, or I could do this to the third, and etc., etc., etc. So I'm gonna do git log and see my last commit was made changes to test seven. My previous commit was this one. But actually I wanna be in this commit so, I, so this file can be on tracked. So that's one, two. So that's git reset head. My previous commit, I don't wanna be there. I don't want to be there either. I want to be where my file has been on track. So that's git reset head two. Good status. And as you can see, it says my file has been on track. So technically, I went back to my third where my test seven hasn't been tracked yet. And now I can add my file. And that's how you can go back multiple commits. And now I'm going to do this example on source tree. So now let's say I want to do it with source tree. So here I'm going to make a new file called test7. 
and then when I go here so the file status you can stage it new file test 7 I'm not gonna push it because this will what I'm about to do will only work if you just made the commit locally and it says I should push but I'm not gonna push let's say after a while I figure out that I made a mistake so how can I go back so what I would do is if I want to go back here to this commit then I can just do reset release sandbox to this commit or if you want to go back or I guess wherever you want to go back to uh, to here but I want to go back to my last commit so reset so I'm going to do that again right click to the last commit reset release sandbox to this commit and most likely you would click on soft so just keep all local changes and click OK so it takes me back and as I can see my test 7 file is there so all I have to do is commit it now let's do an example where I did multiple commits so I'm going to do this added new file 7 oh and actually before I continue what if I do or undo that commit the history erases it and that's because I did it locally if I would have done it remotely it would technically not delete it but when you do it remotely you actually don't use reset you do revert and I will get I get that into another video but here add a new file 7 just do it locally let's say I do test 8 file 8 added so I want to go back here so I will reset back there keep on my local I can keep my local changes or keep working copy reset index or discard all working copy changes uh, so this one I'll just do this because I just want to delete everything just want to go back and I went back multiple commits you see so I went back to release sandbox added file and my file 7 is not even there and that's because I clicked the hard not the soft or the mixed and that's how you would do the undo with multiple commits and this is just locally